morning, afternoon, evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am your ever faithful granny monster, and some of you may know, I know shock, that I'm a beast. Sometime back, ooh, a long while back now, a pet and chick sent to me as a as a gift a CD of the Beatles, but I haven't the heart to open it or listen to it because it would mean losing their signature on it. So I just told it, it's kind of a treasured thing, and it's traveled. <laughs> well, I might add. Anyway, let's see how I do on this quiz. I want to thank On This Day, which is a website you can go to to find out what happened historically on this day, year, whatever the case may be. I caught the... I don't know why I go down these rabbit holes, kids. I I don't know. <laughs> but I saw a thing that says quiz, and I'm like, oh, I'm kind of smart. Uh, emphasis on kind of. So I'm going to pick something that I think I know a bit about, which, and this is called the ultimate Beatles quiz. Let's go. Who was the original drummer of the Beatles from 1960 to 1962? Was it Ringo Starr, Pete Best, John Bonham, or Keith Moon? I know what a lot of you think, Ringo, but no, Pete Best. Okay. <clears throat> hey Jude, written by Paul McCartney, was about whom? Yoko Ono, Judas Iscariot, Julian Lennon, or Linda McCartney? Well, I happen to really know this one is about Julian. So, there we go. True or false? The Beatles' first appearance on the Ed Sullivan on February 7, 1964, received the, at the time, the largest audience ever recorded for an American TV program. I believe that to be true. Okay. On to the next one. Comment down below if you're getting these or before or after me or think I'm wrong because we're going to find out. <laughs> I'm all of Twitter. Oh, speaking of Twitter. Mm, mm. Which Beatle once claimed that the group was more popular than Jesus, setting off a major controversy in the United States? Was it John Lennon, Paul McCartney, George Harrison, or Ringo Starr? Well, he said it in a kind of a private setting, and then it kind of got used against him. Sorry, John, but we know it's you, buddy. Who is the man who led a famous transcendental meditation course that the Beatles attended in India in early 1968? Was it Ravi Shankar, Narandi Moody, Rashakant or the Maharishi Marish Yogi? Well, I happen to know it's the Marish Ma Marisha Mahishya. My apologies. But I believe it's this last one here, the Yogi, because Ringo actually didn't like the food and ended up bringing like tins of beans. True or false, the Beatles auditioned for EMI Records in 1962 and were rejected. Hmm. I'm going to say true because I think later, much later in their career, that's what kind of led them to the Apple. Almost disaster, actually. In which of these Beatles songs did none of the Fab Four play any instruments? Strawberry Fields, Yesterday, She Loves You, or Eleanor Rigby? Ooh. Hmm. Okay. Full ownership. This is a guess. Eleanor Rigby. We're at now. Six out of ten questions. Stay with me. Two or false? Only one George Harrison composition for the Beatles was released as an A-side single. True or false? I 
I want to say that's true. Oh dear. Who did Paul McCartney say was most deserving of the title The Fifth Beatle and who produced all of the group's albums except Let It Be? Phil Spector, Quincy Jones, George Martin, or Brian Williams Wilson? I'm laying in bed just like Brian Wilson did. <laughs> I wish. Hmm. I actually know who this is. It's George Martin, although these are all kind of legendary. Me, I'm more like leg and dairy. Mm -hmm. That's a stolen line. If you know, you know. What was the name of the famous club in which the Beatles first rose to prominence in Liverpool? Was it the Crickets Club, the Cosba Club, the Coronation Club, or the Cavern? Pretty sure it's the cavern. Aha. Yep. Okay. Look at there. My score is nine. Well done. You beat the average. The average score is 6.8. Well, why you know? I got the one wrong that I thought I got wrong. So. Look here. They don't tell you the answers, though. Huh. Important women history quiz, World War One quiz. How much do I know? The best Tar Quentin Tarantino quiz. Good place to stop. <laughs> but anyway, thanks again on this day. Uh, dot com. Appreciate you. Used to use you all the time, and I kind of forgotten about how interesting this website is. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Once again, I'll remind you that we are doing the Black Friday charity event. I hope you have a great Thanksgiving tomorrow and come back again Friday. I am your ever faithful granny monster, and as they say in Canada, peace out. <laughs>